Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. We have the latest news on Galaxy Note 21 Ultra release date. Please subscribe followed by the bell you can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The Samsung Galaxy Note 21 Ultra is having an interesting lead up to its release. Mainly because no one is quite sure if it's getting one at all now that the Galaxy S21 launch is out of the way. All eyes are turned towards Samsung's next stalwart flagship, but tipsters are saying it's the end for the Galaxy Note line the rumors are bolstered by the S Pen support Samsung has granted to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and is reportedly rolling out to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, or a possible Galaxy Z Fold 3 Ultra model Samsung has reaffirmed its commitment to the Galaxy Note series, but whether the Galaxy Note 20 was the last in the line, or if the Galaxy Note 21 will have that title, is anyone's guess right now we're sure to get a clearer picture as we head towards the summer, but for now, here's everything we know about the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 so far. The Galaxy Note 20 series debuted in August last year at the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event the Note line has been making a summer appearance since the Galaxy Note 5, so if we do see a Galaxy Note 21 this year, We'd expect Samsung to introduce it at its second unpacked event of the year Twitter tipster Max Weinbach said last year that he doesn't think we'll see a new Galaxy Note in 2021, but an industry insider spoke out not long after claiming that Samsung will launch only a single Galaxy Note model this year. Set for the latter half of 2021 Twitter leaker Cozy Plains chimed in to say they had spoken with three of their own sources who confirmed the Galaxy Note 21 is in development and will launch in August at the earliest so it's on track for its regularly scheduled release date. If it exists there's no word on the price for the Galaxy Note 21, but we'll be interested to see if Samsung opts for a single premium model. As the swan song of the series, or if it goes down the more affordable route with a Galaxy Note model that cuts down on premium features to hit an appealing price point at launch. The Galaxy Note 20 started at £849 for the 4G model not available in the US $999 for the 5G variant, and from $1299 for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G model. So don't expect the Galaxy Note 21 Ultra to be the cheap when it comes to the Galaxy Note 21's design there won't be too drastic of a leap from the Galaxy Note 20. Aesthetically, given the tried and tested candy bar form factor the Galaxy Note's hole punch camera could be banished forever, based on rumors saying that Samsung is testing two variants one with the traditional front-facing camera placement and one with an underscreen camera we may have already seen the UDC Galaxy Note model already. With a reported sighting during CES 2021 an under-display camera paired with the sizable display panel of the Galaxy Note would be a treat for fans, and if Samsung can shave down the bezels, it'll be a step towards an even more immersive display if we get a single model. The screen size will probably lie somewhere between the Galaxy Note 20 6.7-inch and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's 6.9-inch screen. Previous Note models have had a larger discrepancy between the two variants but given how close last year's panels were, the effect of offering just the one size shouldn't make that much of an impact for fans the Galaxy Note 21 will likely also sport an AMOLED QHD Plus panel with 120Hz refresh rate as with the camera housing redesign between the Galaxy S20 and Galaxy S21. We'll probably see the Galaxy Note 20's camera housing extend to the corner of the chassis rather than a standalone rectangular panel when it comes to the body samsung is faced with going down the route of the more premium galaxy s21 models rear glass panel which is horrifyingly fragile or the glass stick that was so divisive on the galaxy note 20 but has proven to be more durable than its glass counterpart the galaxy note may 21st be sharing its once unique s pen support with the galaxy s21 and maybe even the galaxy z fold 3 but it might be set to roll out with a brand new feature that'll be a first for any Samsung smartphone and under display camera. UDC for the rear camera setup, we're likely to see either a triple or quad camera setup, echoing one of the Galaxy Note 20 models, depending on whether Samsung goes for an ultra premium Galaxy Note 21, or even cut price Galaxy Note 20 FE, as industry analyst Ross Young has suggested might release instead interestingly. Samsung's Exynos 2100 can support up to six cameras, via Sam Mobile, 
and that's not something being utilized in the Galaxy S21 series. The Hexa camera support includes the front shooter, meaning a handset touting the new SoC could support another five lenses on the rear that might encompass an improved TOF sensor for the Galaxy Note 21 via Sam Mobile. Last year's Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy S20 series both utilized the same processor Qualcomm's Snapdragon 865 or Samsung's Exynos 990, depending on the region. This year's Galaxy S21 series houses the new Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 so expect the Galaxy Note 21 to follow suit if the Galaxy Note is dead in the water there. Are rumors emerging of a third device in the Foldale category that Samsung is working on that could take its place namely the rollable Galaxy Scroll the company has even teased a new foldable with a brand new form factor to sit alongside the Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip series alternatively. The single Galaxy Note model we see this year could actually be a Galaxy Note 20 FE, offering a more affordable version of last year's flagship. One thing to have in mind about the Note 21 Ultra is that, we are yet to confirm specific specs, if it materializes the Note 21 will most likely come with a display larger than 6.8 inches, hopes are high that we might see an underscreen selfie camera, so no cutout or notch whatsoever the UPC which stands for under panel camera will bring camera sensors under the active pixels of TVs and smartphone screens. Some rumors state that the only Samsung-made phone with a discrete selfie camera in 2021 will be the Galaxy Z Fold 3 then again. There was this official Samsung video with a mystery note-looking phone that appeared for a couple of seconds you guessed it, said phone had no punch hole so. Will the Galaxy Note 21 have an underscreen selfie camera? Samsung has been reportedly working on bringing under-display cameras for a while but concerns about the image quality have held back on the innovation remember, having a camera under a display means that less light is able to hit the selfie sensor directly, which is undesirable, and could lead to inferior image results speaking of the design, no surprises are expected, the design language of the Note series has peaked a long time ago and Samsung is generally keeping true to that mantra a mostly glass exterior is expected, and we assume Samsung will stick to the frosted glass finish it introduced with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, along with some metal design elements the S Pen will certainly be a part of the package, seeing how it's an integral part of the Galaxy Note line, even if other Samsung devices score support for the venerable S Pen, it will always be clear cut for the Note series aside from the pure hardware support for the S Pen. The Note series also has a slew of software features to accommodate for the added functionalities which make the two a much better pair just like most Galaxy flagships from the past few years. The Note 21 will most certainly come along with a triple camera setup, consisting of a ultra-wide angle, main wide angle, and a telephoto camera judging from the latest S21 leaks. The Note 21 could theoretically score the same triple camera system that's rumored to make it into the S21 Ultra, that means a 108MP sensor yet again, and 100x hybrid zoom. What's really bonkers, is that we expect two zoom cameras a 3x telephoto camera for portraits, and a 10x telescope camera for lossless zooming. We fully expect the Note 21 will be 5G ready out of the box. The new connectivity is well on its way to becoming a new norm, instead of an exotic commodity. So flagships coming out in 2021 and onward pretty much have no excuse, but to support it. Just like the Galaxy S21, we expect the Note 21 to be ready for both MMWave and Sub-6 GHZ standards, as we cross our fingers waiting for the upcoming Note 21 series. What features would you like to see in Note 21 Ultra? Let me see your comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.